Hello everyone, welcome back to Unidentified Flying Tardigrade Scientist. Today we will be playing more Space Engine. Um, right now I am on summer break, so I'm feeling pretty good. Right now, oh my gosh, <laughs> right now we're traveling at 100 kilometers a second. Oh, we're going at light speed right now. Look at look at how how little we move. Um, we are on a red luminous super giant right now. It's freaking massive. Uh, so light travels a well a thousand light seconds, which is how far light travels in a hundred seconds, is an astronomical unit. Well about I think uh, and this is 47 of those so however long it takes light to travel 47,000 sec well how far light travels in 47,000 seconds that's how big this is <laughs> it's it's freaking massive well how big its uh, diameter is oh no that's just how far we are from it I feel like an idiot. In fact, it doesn't even show the size up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, seizure warning. Oh. We landed. Oh, it slowed us down. That's weird. So yeah, we're going at light speed right now. Or we're. Uh, I think there's something wrong. <laughs> Just because of how massive it is. Oh! Guys, that's the surface. What, what the heck? Whoa! <laughs> it was weird. It's still thousands of like freaking kilometers big. That that's pretty crazy. <laughs> this is a weird. There's lines. Uh, uh, keep in mind right now, guys. We're going at the speed of light. Oh wow. Now we're going a thousand light seconds a second. Oh no, it's how long, it's how far light travel. I, I honestly don't know right now. It looks really weird. It's a weird texture. looks like a constipated turd. Uh, FPS is it's really weird in recording. <laughs> uh, this is in a little galaxy that was barely visible next to the Milky Way. Let's go back to Earth. It's all the way over here. Whoop. That's our planet. I wonder if we make it flat. In fact, I think that's going to be like something to do with the title of the video. <laughs> We're going to make the Earth flat, guys. Um, which is something I wanted to mess around. It's called the editor. Um, you can edit the planet. Uh, mess around with some cool stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure oblateness is like... Oh yeah. How like pressed the planet is. So like the faster it spins, I think the higher the oblateness is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're really turning Earth into a pancake right now. 
<laughs> yep, Earth is well, sort of flat. Wait, wait. Oh. Really? Are you gonna ruin our fun right now? It was all we can hide. Set it to is 0.9. Okay, well, I, I consider that to be flat. That's how flat earthers play space engine. <laughs> oh gosh. It's short and stubby. And click update. Uh, that, that won't really change anything. <laughs> Earth is now flat. Look at it in all its glory now, guys. Because we're going to destroy it. Uh, let's add a bunch of volcanoes. Nothing happened. Still nothing. Oh. Yeah. We're freaking maxing out all the settings, guys. Update. And nothing's changed. Literally nothing. I think that's because Earth isn't a procedural planet. And so you can't do that. Uh, we still sort of destroyed Earth, though. I that's quite cold. I don't know if that's true. Uh, right here it says, oh I know the greenhouse effect is pretty warm. Because <laughs> all the volcanoes we added. Oh wow. You see down, down at this size, the atmosphere is still there, but if we make it big enough, now Earth doesn't have an atmosphere. It looks warm tinted. <laughs> Was this? It has to do with the shading of water or whatever. We're not big craters. I think that's enough destroying our home. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I might have just permanently screwed up the earth. Uh, <laughs> that's sad. I don't think the volcano, yeah, the volcanoes are reset, but <laughs> I guess that's how I'm gonna play Space Engine now, sort of a, as a joke. I stop that. What the heck was this line? Oh no, that was just because it hasn't loaded in yet. This is just so funny and amusing to me because the earth is round and like here it is it's flat <laughs> let's go to, like well egg nebula I need to see this random spot that doesn't look like an egg the Greeks are like were like drunk when they came up with names of like places and star well constellations. It's all like, oh, that looks like a guy riding a horse. Uh, no life. Let's just click on planets until it says we found one with life. Whoop. So um, in the last video after I uploaded it, it said YouTube uh, said that there was like copyrighted songs in it, and so basically I can't monetize my videos later if I ever get to that point. However, I only make videos because it's amusing to me and fun, so I'm not going to be doing mon any sort of monetization. So I'm just keeping in the default music from the game. Oh oh, there we go. That's a procedural planet of. I don't know, star system and uh 
Oh, this is rare. The frozen gas giant itself has the life. That's that's really weird. I'm saving that. Uh, frozen gas giant with life. Uh, you see it? Let's go to some random spot again. Yeet. Star. It's a cool desert. So, um, pretty soon, uh, on Lucario night, um, uh, it's my friend, uh, he's a YouTube channel, um, I'll try to include him at the end cards this, this uh, today, uh, pretty soon there's gonna be a video of me and him playing Fortnite going up on his channel, so, go check him out, he makes some pretty cool content. Honestly, at this point, there's nothing interesting happening, so I'm just going to go to some cool locations I have saved. This, oh, this planet has a xenon atmosphere, which is a <clears throat> weird gas. Uh, it's very dense, and so if you were to breathe it, it's like the opposite of helium. It makes your voice super deep. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's in like balloons and stuff. Oh, I just thought that was a cool planet. This one has a bunch of purple. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's like from here it looks like they're all aligned, all of its moons. But I don't know. It's like a purple frozen gas giant. It's the same thing we just saw that had life on it, which is really crazy. Just imagining it. Uh, That's well, not a very interesting planet. I don't know why I saved that. Uh, I was. Let's go to some of the default places. This is a really cool Kepler planet. And land on it. Can't really see anything from here. And so I think that's where I'm going to end the video, I guess. <clears throat> uh, so uh, thank you for the three subscribers that recently well, joined my channel. Um, and I guess that concludes this video. Uh, I, I'm using OBS and so I can do cool transitions without having to edit my videos later, which I'm really thinking about, so. I also think I can pause recording. I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm identify flying tardigrade scientist out. Oh my gosh, that looks worse than I thought. I was gonna have it like a background blur and fade to it, but uh, I guess that didn't work. Uh, Unidentified flying tardigrade scientist out.